What is a strategy you can use when your parrot bites you? Because today I got bitten. What did I do about it? I'm the author of four books, including The Parrot Bliss Bond and my latest book, 30 Perfect Apartment Parrots, plus four coloring books. Check them out under KB Raphael on Amazon. My mission is to help you, like me, have a blissful bond with your parrot. My parrots are my bliss. I adore them. I have over 22 species of parrots. So I have things I do when my parrots bite me. And I'm hoping that by you learning, maybe, or getting an idea, getting inspired, how to deal with your parrot biting you, hopefully you won't rehome or surrender your parrot to a rescue. So this is Phoenix, my white-bellied kaique. And this is not her cage. This is a carrier and in case you're new to my channel or in case you're new to parrots, we get carriers kind of like you would, you know, for a cat or a dog in case she needs to go somewhere or go to the vet. Today, Phoenix was up in that palm tree, which you may, you could see some fronds right there. Oh, and I think she didn't want to come back down. She was with two of her buddies and I had already taken one of them back. So she was with Balam and I was trying to get her to step up and she was like, no. Let me explain what no means to you. And she bit me. She bit me pretty good. She bit me here. And at first I, you know, I had enough blood that it kind of ran down my finger. And somewhere else oh, over here I have, it's not a big deal. You could just see a little red. I don't even know if you could see it. Come here, sweetie. So why do parrots bite? You know, parrots bite because they're trying to defend themselves. Um, you know, they're angry. They're they're upset kind of thing. So it's kind of like you and I, when do you bite someone's head off metaphorically speaking? When you feel like you've been wronged kind of thing, you feel like you're under attack. Parrots aren't really any different. Now, one of the things that happens is that when a parrot is not tame, I would replace the word tame with they are not recognizing you. So what I mean by that is even though she hatched here in my house and I was the one that hand fed her. And so she knows me well. I don't spend a ton of time with my kikes because after all, I do have a mech monster and um, I have 22, over 22 species. So, you know, I try to spend like this time in the morning with this one and this time in the morning with, or in the afternoon with that one and this, this time in the evening. So it all varies. Now she's going back to her cage. So even though I hand fed her and everything, I don't spend a lot of time with her. So I feel like she is losing a little recognition of me. Another thing that's happening is she is now a year and a few months old. And so she's kind of getting a little, um, not, it's not that she's an adult, but she's more like a teenager. And I don't think she's been a rebellious teenager, but she's sort of going, no, this is what I want to do. And you aren't going to tell me my beaks going to tell you all about it. So I was like, okay, uh, we're getting untamed. She's not as familiar with me. She doesn't have good reason to follow me kind of thing. She has good reason to do what her cage mates are doing, but not me. So taming an animal is all about letting them really get to know you so that when they see you, they actually perceive you differently. They see you and things come to them that they recognize. Have you ever noticed that like sometimes you're in like a coffee shop or a restaurant or a crowded place like that. And there's all these people, but you see one, like you see your friend, you're like, Oh, Hey, hi. They stand out. They actually kind of stand out to you because you perceive them differently. So when a parrot or any animal gets tame, they go from you're a stranger. I don't know you. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to expect. I'm on guard to, Hey, I know you. I know what you and I do together. I know you have treats. I know you're fun. I know that you take care of me, you know, or whatever associations based on your experience with your bird. So I was like, you know what? We need to spend more time together. So I am going to put you in a carrier and keep you by my side today. I don't love that the carrier is small, but like right now I am letting her out. I'm going to try to go and spend some more time with her in a bedroom so that she could fly around, but like she can choose to come to me, but there won't hopefully be a whole lot else for her to do, encouraging her to come to me. 
I'm basically going, you know what? You and I really need to spend more time together. This tells me that. So a great way to let your parrot comfortably spend time with you is to do something like have them in a carrier and have them be with you all the time. No, just during an initial training or taming period. So right here is her water dish and over here are her pellets. And earlier I put her breakfast in here. I'm keeping her bottom nice and clean and I'm letting her kind of figure out that actually spending time with me is not so bad. It's kind of special, come on. And um, she already got a couple of pistachios for it. Hi, Phoenix. Because I do love kikes. And of course, if you know me, I love a lot of species, but I really do want to have a good relationship with her. So this is how I'm handling it. You could tell so far, she's not like wanting to come up to me and cuddle with me and be with me and love on me, but she's also not biting me anymore. And she is stepping up. And she's, she's used to being out here, but she's kind of like, what's going on? Because right now the clouds are moving in and you might've heard some thunder. We're getting ready to rain here, but she's, you know, she's kind of like not established in a routine, not established in what's going on. So it's unfamiliar. And so when a parrot is tame, a lot of things that come with tame is the um, rituals, the habits that that you're used to keeping with them, the things that they're used to. And that makes a really big difference. So clearly I'm observing that I haven't instilled these things in her. I need to spend some time with her so that she knows what's going on and she feels comfortable and familiar. That is gonna make her more tame. All right, before she bites my phone and turns it off, thank you for joining me in this blissful video. Please be sure to give Phoenix and I one of these. If you have any questions or comments, especially about Kaiks, please post them below. I love kikes. Like I said, they are one of my favorites. They're amazing little birds. I've done videos on kikes if you want to see what they're like. And then I will catch you in the next feathered video. Yeah, don't need my ears.